the Phillies are moving Bryce Harper to first base permanently. They want to leave him there at first base. Uh, this means that they're going to be moving on from Reese Hoskins, which is kind of a bummer that the dude got Wally pipped like that, right? He has a freak injury and gets replaced by Bryce Harper, who's coming in off of the IL after having Tommy John surgery. And then he takes a spot at first base. Now, Bryce Harper, remember, was drafted as actually a catcher. The Nats moved him out to the outfield to preserve his knees, which is relative. I, I think it's a pretty common move for teams to do that. Um, and what it came down to is the fact that Bryce Harper is a natural talent, right? That you knew he could hit. You want to preserve that bat. He's an athlete. He can play really anywhere. So let's put him in a position where we can take advantage of his cannon, which they did because Bryce, Har Bryce Harper has an incredible arm, and they certainly took advantage of the fact that he has a great arm and put him in the outfield. Well, now the Phillies are like, let's preserve him a little bit more, right? But I don't know. I I'm curious what you think, though. Is first base the best place for Bryce Harper for the rest of his career? I say yes. It, it's interesting because I loved well, I loved him in the outfield, but I say first base is the best place for him, despite the fact that he is a plus outfielder, right? But there's less opportunity for injury over there. I know there's more opportunity for collisions, but first base is a pretty low impact position. You've usually got your your slower one of your slower guys on the team plays first base, kind of your big lumber, bigger lumbering guys play first base. Like I can't imagine Pete Alonso trying to play second base or or even third base at this point in his career. I know he's not like an old guy or anything, but I can't imagine him trying to play third base uh, just because of the lateral movement, right? Even though it, I guess it's kind of similar. But anyway, I can't imagine Pete Alonso really playing anywhere besides first base. There's a lot of first basemen. Daniel Vogelbach, I don't see him playing anywhere besides first base, <laughs> right? If he's not DHing. Um, but first base is an offensive first position, and Bryce Harper has three silver sluggers in his career. He has the same number of gold gloves that I have, which is zero for those of you who might be wondering. I have zero gold gloves, and so does Bryce Harper. So he's an offensive first player. So put him in an offense first position, and then you can fill in other guys, and he's not taking the spot of a better outfielder like maybe Nick Castellanos. Right? Makes sense to have Castellanos out in right field. He didn't commit a single error this year. Does he have the range of some guys who may have committed other errors? No, he doesn't. But he played the ball safe, he played the ball well, and he didn't commit any errors. So there's that. And whereas you have Bryce Harper, who may have maybe taken some more risks and let balls get away from him, given up another run or two throughout the year. Anyway, I think first base is a great place for Bryce Harper. He's got a his baseball IQ is off the charts. We know that as well. And so he can help to kind of captain the infield and move things around and, and make calls when, when the ball is in play. And I know that's the catcher's, primarily the catcher's job, but he can help out with that and, and do a really good job with it. So I think having him in the infield is a great way to go. He can communicate with his other players, with his teammates more easily. And, uh, and I think, like I said, I think it's going to be a great fit for him. I wonder if the Nats maybe should have put him there to begin with. Um, like I said, they moved him away from being a catcher to preserve his legs. I wonder if they had put him at first base, if he maybe would have a gold glove by now at first base. Because he played a, he played a great first base this year. And if he'd been playing first base for, what, 12 years now? 10, 12 years now? He could have a gold glove at first base. So we'll see how it goes. I think it'll go well for him uh, moving to first base. Bummer for Reese Hoskins, but I'm sure he'll land on his feet elsewhere. I'm confident that he will. He's a great player.